Hey, welcome to Socialism for All. It's January 3rd, and this is just a quick video. I just wanted to upload a few thoughts because kind of a momentous thing just happened. Hakeem, who's an excellent ML YouTuber, he's probably my favorite um, left channel, actually, uh, just appeared on Vosh, cancerous Radlib Vosh's channel, and they had a discussion, not a debate. Uh, I saw on Twitter that Hakeem was you know, didn't view this event as a debate. Although, of course, we all know Vosh uh, got shredded recently in a couple of videos by Hakeem, and I'm sure that that's the only reason that this conversation happened. So Vosh got, you know, shown up for the fool that he is by Hakeem in repeated videos, which were even titled things like, you know, I forget the exact name of the video, but it was like, you know, shaming Vosh on this or like, you know, making Vosh look like the ass that he is, etc. And then Hakeem went on and basically for two hours, in my opinion, pretended to agree with Vosh. This uh, was not a great performance. I mean, I'd love to hear what Hakeem thinks about, you know, like why he was doing this, what maybe the strategy was. But I honestly, I thought he wound up lending legitimacy to Vosh. And um, I thought that this potentially could really backfire by making Vosh's fans say, uh, as I saw actually many times in the chat, I was there, maybe you saw me commenting in the chat, I was doing kind of an equal amount of agitating and then just straight out flaming because those people were, uh, I don't know, <laughs> not worth really talking to in my opinion. But um, yeah, uh, a lot of them were saying, uh, Hakeem is great, but his fans are toxic. So like, Really, it's about what they want to keep believing uh, and not so much like that he, Hakeem was convincing anybody of anything. And really, I, I didn't think Hakeem was uh, representing, like bringing his normal game, actually. I thought he went incredibly uh, weak on Vosh when, again, the, I think the only reason he was on there in the first place was Vosh had to do damage control because of Hakeem's videos. So... Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll have some additional thoughts like once the stream goes up and I, I don't think I would watch it again. I was pretty engaged for like the first uh, 30 or 40 minutes. And then um, after that, really just started losing interest um, pretty sharply because the conversation, again, it was this weird mix of like faux agreement, not really challenging. Because here's the thing about Vosh. Five minutes after Hakeem got off the stream, I was still watching a little bit, and then uh, one of the commenters said to Vosh, I think one of his fans said, why didn't you push more on areas of disagreement like China? And Vosh said flat out, he said, well, because Hakeem's really smart, he really knows what he's talking about, and I would have to, you know, basically stay up late reading the encyclopedia to, like, be able to, to do that. In other words... Vosh knows he's full of shit and Hakeem isn't and he was on his best behavior tiptoeing around Hakeem and Hakeem let him get away with it and I love Hakeem but that was super disappointing and it allowed Vosh to pretend during that stream like just that he was oh just one of the gang and an ally which he isn't we all know Vosh is not an ally okay his streaming day after day after day constantly reinforces this whole, you know, using tanky unironically and anti-ML thing that he does all the fucking time. It let Vosh sit there and pretend, oh yeah, I'm totally cool with you, Hakeem, blah, 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 blah. Like, we all know that that's not true. Why did Hakeem, Hakeem, if you're watching this, why did you let him get away with that? That was so... That was a major misstep, I think. Um, yeah, so that was disappointing. Um, Hakeem really could have, you know, and again, I'm not asking for blood, but why didn't you put the screws to him? You know, the fact that he had you on in the first place m means you had uh, beaten him down somewhat. Turn the screws. That's all I was asking for, Not not for you know, Ben Shapiro style. Actually, I've never watched Ben Shapiro, but, um, you know, whatever. Like, I'm not asking for this epic debate. I'm not asking for, like, what happened with Caleb Maupin where they're just screaming at each other. I didn't want that. Uh, stay calm. That's fine. But get in there and turn the screws. Vosh was afraid of you. He admitted it 
as soon as you got off the stream, he was afraid of you. You could have turned the screws and turned the screws and turned the screws and made him say uncle and you didn't. Instead, Vosh said a bunch of bullshit pretending to agree with, you know, the rest of the Marxist universe. And you let him get away with it. I don't think that that was a very good thing to do. So um, I think that that was maybe not only unproductive, but counterproductive because his fans walked away, I think, unchanged from that. Uh, And basically, I think you you, I think that Hakeem gave Vosh legitimacy and from watching what the fans were, what Vosh fans were writing in the comments, uh, you know, they think that we, Hakeem's fans, unquote, I mean, the rest of us are a community with our own channels and stuff as well. We're also activists out in the world. Uh, you know, they, they now walked away with this narrative that like you, Hakeem, agree with them that, you know, you're reasonable and we're not. So I don't think that this did any real favors for like the rest of the Marxist Leninist world at all. The only point of going on Voss's show is to challenge him, to put the screws to him, to make him uncomfortable and to make his fans think. And I don't really think that that happened over the course of the stream. I really don't. Uh, And again, that was me listening to it. And that was also me watching reactions to in the chat to what was going on in the stream. Uh, I know it was late, you know, it was midnight Hakeem's time and he had just gotten off of work and stuff. But again, in conclusion, the only reason Hakeem was on that stream in the first place was he he made Vosh look like the dipshit that he is. Vosh daily does harm to the cause of socialism in the United States, in my opinion, and prevents left unity in the sense of he he prevents left education from happening and left dialogue from happening um you know you you have to actually be fairly educated to be a good socialist and you have to take uncomfortable positions and you have to be somewhat relentless in terms of um holding to those positions in the face of massive opposition you know there's all this temptation to go along with uh, the democratic party for example and Vosh is just making it easier for people to do that. And in fact, he is part of that pressure for his fans to go along with all that shit. And um, if you don't go on with the direct purpose, express purpose of challenging that, because again, Vosh admitted a couple of minutes after the stream ended that he was afraid Hakeem was going to do that. And, and Vosh was afraid to challenge him on anything because Vosh doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. And he knows he doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. But that doesn't stop him from getting on stream and, you know, doing his video games and doing what he's doing and just talking shit about us in a way that prevents it. it I think gives license to a lot of would be socialists. You know, many of them are rad libs and social Democrats it prevents them from getting any further radicalized and further educated. And I think that a lot of people, from what I saw, walked away from that stream going like, oh, Hakeem is basically cool with us, he endorses us, and his fans are the problem. Well, I was pretty shocked. I mean, Hakeem is a guy who's made several videos about Vosh. I've also made a video about Vosh. Who hasn't made a video about Vosh? Vosh is a freaking idiot uh, in some clearly documentable ways. And then I think to just go on his stream and not challenge him is a major mistake. I think that that was a bad move. Uh, that's at least my, you know, direct reaction, having just watched the stream live. Uh, you know, so I don't know if we'll see what the actual results are in the weeks and months to come. But I can tell you, Vosh got off of good behavior within a couple of minutes and started acting like his old dipshit self that he does. And I don't think that that really accomplished anything. Oh, one more thing, and I am editing this in after having recorded most of the video. There was a point where Vosh basically, I mean, he's not literally crying, but he starts crying and whining in the middle of the video uh, to Hakeem that like, you know, your fanboys are like really mean to me and blah, blah, blah. And they call me all kinds of names and stuff. And I felt like Hakeem's response to this was like, well, your fans are also incredibly toxic First of all, I feel like Hakeem was maybe being like too sly here, too tongue in cheek, because 
in a way he was kind of throwing the like ML fans or like online world is not not fans this is like politics this is reality but you know what I'm saying like people who regularly engage with this stuff online and try to advance a particular point of view um people who would side more with Hakeem than over Vosh cuz these are definitely there is a divide between the two camps for sure. I think very few people would listen to both Hakeem and Vosh on a regular basis without having a preference. Anyway, uh, Vosh was like, you know, oh, well, you, you know, though, like ML world is like so toxic and they call me names and stuff and I'm just this innocent victim. And, you know, again, like I feel like uh, Hakeem may have been like, you know, being a little tongue in cheek about like, oh, yeah, well, I'm sure that your side would never do that. But if he was being sarcastic, he didn't really sell it. And again, it just lent, it gave this impression that, you know, uh, Vosh was, you know, one of the gang and giving him legitimacy, et cetera. I just wanted to add that. So uh, more material coming later in the month in the January edition of Socialism for All. I'm working on recording it now. And uh, thanks to current patrons whose names are on the screen. If you want to support this channel, go to patreon.com slash socialism for all. We're also on Facebook, facebook.com slash socialism, the number for all. Here on YouTube, make sure to click subscribe, the notifications bell, upvote the video, uh, post it to your Reddit subs, Discord groups, all that kind of thing. We'll catch you on the next video. Thanks.